I want to know now, you've spent time together. It, you know, it wasn't always easy. It was a struggle for Nate to open up. Have you continued to let those guards down? Are we still being vulnerable and oh, yeah. sharing oh, our yeah. emotions? Oh, this, yeah. He is more vulnerable than me. Stop. I mean, no, he is. And it, Don't okay, but, but you put somebody, you put somebody in a position where they have to, well, where they're trying to be vulnerable, right, for the first time, yeah. fall in love for the first time, and then you stick producers and cameras. Like, <laughs> it's going to look a little, you know, off. Of but course. behind the scenes, like, he really was challenging himself. And that's the thing is that, Love doesn't always have to be like this perfect, intense, magical story that goes through, like, from yeah. start to end with no speed bumps. Like, you know, the conversations he had with my family, it yeah. showed me that they were able to work through things, and that's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And with him and I, it's just, he's so vulnerable and gives so <laughs> many words of affirmation that, like, I feel like I need to check myself and be like, okay, <laughs> what can I do for him that's romantic? Aww. I mean, he's just, he really is. He's oh, been truly love to hear that. That's, yeah, that deserves a round of applause. Nate. That's really sweet. I mean, what got you both through the last couple of months? Because I've unfortunately been in the position of the hiding out and the not being able to share it. And like you said, you wanted to run, but now you're like, but now we want to run to the world and share it. Yeah. What got you to, through those two months of filming and airing and all of that? I think what's so hard is that you go through this experience and you have these magical moments and you leave like in love, but then you spend so much more time together. You get to text, FaceTime, you get mm -hmm. to talk to each other's families and you get significantly closer. And then he has to also un watch all these other stories yeah. unfold. And yeah. so Nate has to watch, you know, had to watch me saying I love you. And he had to be understanding about that. But, mm -hmm. you know, I think the biggest thing is that we communicate through everything and it doesn't always have to be this perfect communication, but we both know that we're gonna stick in it. Yeah. We're gonna not let go, we're gonna hold on, and that's the biggest part, because this is, it's not easy. There's gonna be uncomfortable emotions, no. and we definitely had them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, sure. that's, that's, you know, to be expected in relationships. I don't care how confident you are. That is hard to go <laughs> no. through, okay? And I know, you know, it wasn't always easy with Michelle's parents. Michelle's mom was pretty tough <laughs> on you, and I wanna know how things are now, but... <laughs> I'm not going to take your word for it because we have Michelle's parents here tonight. Levon and Ephraim, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, I need to know, what do you think of Nate now? Oh, we are in love with Nate. Oh. We are absolutely yeah. in love with Nate. Oh, and, sweet. you know, Michelle, I don't know if she told you, but she shared a, one of the texts that you sent her, and I won't. Say all that. <laughs> say it. But say it was beautiful. It was so heartwarming. It was so, it, it made me cry. Oh, what a surprise. But yeah, <laughs> no. Be it, sure. Yeah, I will. Okay. I will. Yeah, right yeah, when we're done. You two will share now because <laughs> Nate's mom, I heard you two are besties. Besties. Oh, oh yeah, we are, are. buds. Yeah. We yeah. are yeah. buds. Yeah. We're also yeah. here. Nate's parents. Yeah. 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 We, would talk, we would talk after each episode. Um, you know, we would watch with friends and so on the night of. And then the next night, the next night, watch it just by ourselves and then talk and compare notes. Oh my gosh, no, a little one awesome. big happy she's family. Awesome. Look at that. So awesome. Michelle, you live in Minnesota, Minneapolis. Nate, you're in Austin, Texas. Yep, yep. What's next for the two of you? Oh, I'm moving to Minnesota. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no hesitation. No hesitation. He's moving no, to Minnesota. No, no hesitation. Yeah. Okay. I'm like gonna soon. be in Minnesota. Like, like soon? Yeah. yeah. Like when? Very soon. Like tomorrow? Uh, like let's call it a couple couple months, few months. Very soon. Okay. Very soon. We're not we're not waiting. There's no reason there's no reason to wait with Michelle. Let's do this. Let's do this. You're all in. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm excited. I'm excited. It's gonna be beautiful. Like. Um, you know, our families, like, like we already said, like, Levon and, and, and my mom are already, like, besties, and Minnesota to Winnipeg is like a seven-hour drive, that's hour true, flight, something count. like that. Like, it's, I cannot wait. So, to, are we house hunting? Oh, yeah. yes, yeah, we yes. Are. You've already done The that. Zillow notifications are crazy, okay? I got, I, every <laughs> single time another house is like, oh, let's, let's look at this one, let's okay. look at this one, yeah. Well, yeah. I think I speak for everybody <laughs> when I say, I'm just so freaking happy for both of you. I really am, and so happy, in fact, that simply celebrating your love here tonight isn't enough. It's the holiday season after all. Polly? Polly Claus? Come on out here. Polly.
gingerbread house. Oh, wow, this is I cute. mean, it's not just a gingerbread house. I think you can open the roof. You can open, it's a little gift oh. in there. Oh. oh. Yeah. What's going on over here? Whoa! Yeah, that right there is from us in the Bachelor family. And that is a, I'm, I'm gonna cry. That's a down payment on your first home together. Oh.